Yo, Elliot. Hey, so we got a question from one of our buddies who wants to know, is it true that I could grow bigger and stronger with one set to failure? Apparently he's reading a book, I think it's called Body by Science, right? Whatever, whatever that actually means. Body by Science, where the author says that you can grow, you should be able to grow bigger and stronger. In fact, I think he recommends this in order for you to be a big, strong, solid badass. And, uh, and our friend goes on to say, look, I've been weight training for several years. I see the programs that some of the greatest bodybuilders, he mentions Arnold and Jay Cutler do, and it completely contradicts what this gentleman is saying. Now, you may not know this, but what this book, Body by Science, is referring to has also been called high intensity training that was really popularized by, uh, oh. Ellington Darden, I believe, and Mike Menser for sure. In fact, I've read a, a couple of Mike Menser's books and uh, I think he has one of the best bodies ever. Mike Menser is just like thick, dense, he looks strong. He doesn't just look like a bodybuilder, he looks like he could fuck shit up, right? He doesn't look like so muscle bound, he looks athletic. So, in fact, when I started studying bodybuilding when I was a kid, I'd read bodybuilding magazines, I bought, that's when I bought Heavy Duty and I would always look forward to reading Mike Menser's column in Muscle Mag, I think it was. Anyway, I love the guy and I decided to give, not too long ago, about a year ago, I decided to give this one set to failure a try and you alluded to the same fact that if it, the set should last 90 seconds. So essentially you're using a, a multiple different techniques like super slow training, negatives, things like that in order to be able to extend one set into the 90 second range. And I gotta tell you, man, uh, I build muscle pretty easily, but it wasn't working for me. It didn't work for me, and in fact, I don't know anybody that it's worked for. I would imagine that if you're already giant, if you're already huge and jacked, and you've got big muscles, and, uh, and you really, you know, the difference between what you have and what you could potentially be is minuscule, then maybe this shaking it up by doing this one set to failure perhaps leads to some extra gains that you probably wouldn't get if you kept doing the high volume stuff well into your career, right? And it's kind of, it probably is one of these things where less becomes more, but that thing, less becomes more isn't really, doesn't really show itself as a viable option until you've done a lot, which means you must have built a body, a gigantic body through high volume training. And I'm pretty sure that Mike Menser and Ellington Darden and these guys that talk about this shit, they built giant bodies with high volume training and now that you know they can walk around and talk shit about one set dude i have no scientific proof of research i go based on experience and the experiences of others and you know kind of trial and error i have never seen it work for someone who is not on steroids not that i've seen it on someone with steroids but most of these guys are and, and i haven't seen it with someone who's a, a young weightlifter probably like yourself you know if you're a teenager in your 20s dude you need volume especially if you're trying to build muscle so that's it, man. More of an opinion piece from me. But I tell you, you try it out and you tell me. That shit works. Guarantee it won't. Peace. Yo, Elliot.